forward. 1950 meters, all set. Start to hit the lever, runners dispatched from the 1950 meter marker. Fashion Quest is right there shortly after the start, scriptwriters going around them. Kalinsky's back in third, and then comes Coys, Golding's along the inside, then Cosmic Knight, Hammy's game. The Money Man's racing about seven or eight lengths off the leader at this stage, they're starting to stretch out. Pure Logic's got about 10, 11 lengths to make up. Fashion Quest is going very quickly up front. They are followed further back in the field by Roy's Magic. And then comes Warrior Stone. They're racing about 14, 15 lengths off the leader. Emperor Nearchus just in front of that. And it's Fashion Quest who's opened up to lead by six or seven lengths. In second is Scriptwriter. Kalinsky's at the rail in third and Coys is back fourth. In comes Cosmic Knight and Goldings. Pure Logic at this stage must be 15, 16 lengths off the leader. The Money Man is on the inside. Then comes Hammy's Game. Roy's Magic is further back. Then Warrior Stone, Emperor Nearchus. Kudiari's about 20 lengths off the leader. Fashion Quest a dozen lengths in front. Fashion Quest a dozen lengths to the good. Back in second, Scriptwriter, then Coys. Now followed by Kalinsky. Towards the outside, Pure Logic's now being asked to run. Down the inside of that one is Goldings. And then comes Warrior Stone, Roy's Magic. Fashion Quest, so weary worry at the 400 meter marker. Down the inside, Kalinsky's trying to put in a claim. Coys is towards the outside, Pure Logic, Scriptwriter. Coys now comes into the lead past the 200. Scriptwriter, Roy's Magic, and behind that one, Pure Logic, but it's still Coys. Pure Logic's coming on now. Coys the leader, Pure Logic on the outside. They're going to hit the line, and I think Pure Logic. Pure Logic got it from Coys and the Money Man. Coys was the winner everywhere but the winning post, I think, number one, Pure Logic's going to get them on the line. It's very close. Coys on the inside, Pure Logic comes the line now and it goes to Pure Logic. So number one, Pure Logic won it. Coys runs second, number five. Third placing, the Money Man, if we run it across. Third place to the Money Man. And then scriptwriter Emperor Nearchus, followed by Roy's Magic, Goldings and Hammy's Game. Toad favourite number one at 2 Rand 70. Further back, Fashion Quest went very quickly, had nothing to come. At one stage led by 12 lengths or so. And now the winner, two off the right, is Pure Logic. This is the Mumbai in Seattle, Dean Canamayer. For a host of owners, Gerber, Kaname and Jaffe. At this stage, Coys is still going and Pure Logic battling to get there. And then it's a case of heads up and down. And Pure Logic gets the nod at 270. Until the 8th race, back to the studio. Finally, Pure Logic has put his act together and he's shown a lot of heart here to come through with a good late run on the top weight uh, to finally get that second career win. 420 days it's taken him, but he's been fairly consistent out the maidens, Barbara. He's been an honest horse. Yes, Jesus is a very honest little horse and um, he's forever trying. Um, since he came back from that bit of a break, um, you know, he's done well for the owners. Um, yeah, like I said, he's always been there about and I'm just glad today he could put it through him. He's found a good finish. Yes, we were a bit worried at the top of the straight he wasn't going to get there. But um, it was a gutsy race and it was a nice win. We've got two more runners left, a water moon and travel guide. 
Yeah, these are both doing well at home. Uh, Water Moon, it's a, it's a weak race, so he should be there. And Travel Guide uh, with the scratching of Holly's Flame, I think he, she's got a good chance. Well, uh, well done to yourself and the team, and of course, Dean in Cape Town, <laughs> I'm so busy at the sales. Yes, thanks, Dean. Well done to all the owners, and just to Bill Lambert, it's his birthday yesterday, so happy birthday to him. Well, that's news to us, so Barbara, all the best. Thanks, Dean. Lovely, Bill Lambert. Zane, just get the camera out there to Mr. Lambert on the top if you can, please, uh, our cameraman, the best cameraman in course. Happy birthday, Mr. Lambert. You're live on air. Can you give us a wave? Well done. Yesterday, Bill Lambert, he is an ambassador of racing, isn't he, Bonge? Yeah, he's a thorough gentleman. He loves his racing and always here supporting the boys and he's a gentleman. Happy birthday to him. Well, uh, coming back to this race and you had to pull out all the stops here. <laughs> yeah, he's a very hard rider and I think what won him the race today, the pace was hard and I think it's a little bit short for him. He wants a little bit further than this, but he tries hard, this horse, you know. And I thought today he's got the right field. If I'm not too far back, then I might get there. And he made me work hard for it. And uh, I thought he's going to be between me and that horse, Koiza, because I won on him last night. He gave me a nice fielder. So it was very really nice to get up and, and beat him. You, you know, that horse that went up front uh, said this in decent fraction. So it was a true run race, which could have suited your horse. That's exactly right. You know, my horse stays and I needed a hard gallop and that's exactly what happened. And although even around the turn, just, just before the straight, I, I got him out and trying to get him unwind before the straight because he's really one pace and he just takes his time to unwind. But he's done well. It's taken a while to crack his second win, but let's hope he's not going to stop here. Well, you've got one on the board and you've got rides to come, races eight, nine and ten. I, I'm very competitive. I, all my rides got good chances. Thanks for that, Ponge. And, uh, well played at this ride. Good ride. Yeah, th uh, thanks very much. And very well done to Barbara and Dean and uh, to my sponsor, Volga Boss Driff and Maris Montaigne. Well done. Lovely. Jockey Delpes teaming up with Dean Kanamea. Dean Kanamea, Chris Gerba, and uh, Mrs. Uh, G.A. Jaffe. Uh, those are the partners here with number one, Pure Logic. One, five, six, and ten if you caught this quartet. Up next, race number eight, closing off today's jackpot. <laughs>